All right, so we're dabbling in solar power. So I bought this solar power kit from Renogy. It comes with uh, two solar panels, which you see here. Uh, they're 100 watts a piece. I built a little stand for them by using a two by four and it was 96 inches long and I just cut it in three pieces and then I bought some legs for them. Pretty simple little setup. Uh, each panel comes with a, a positive with the red ring and a negative which is female and and what we're going to do next is we're going to link both the positives and both the negatives by using a uh, an adapter that came with the kit all right so these are the adapters that come with the kit and you're basically going to put both females on here and you can see you'll have a female out and then the males or the positive ends will hook in here and you'll have a male out showing you that it's positive okay just showing you here I'm hooking both the female ends on and it'll have the female end out I'm going to push them all the way in. So this is what you get in the end. We're going to do the same thing with the male side. So I'm going to take this male, put it in the female adapter. All right, just like that. And then hook the other one and the other connector just like that so you still have your male or your positive and your female or your negative all right the other thing that this comes with is a couple of cables to run from the panels or those connectors that we just connected up into our control panel so the way we're going to do this is we're going to start with the negative and or correction i'm going to start with the negative because remember the negative is female over there so we're going to go from this and we're going to run it to the control panel which I'll show you here in just a minute all right so as you can see I have it hooked up here here's the other one that's going to be the positive and we've run it into the garage and we're going to hook it to our control panel but before we do I want to talk about this for just a minute so this is the control panel that comes with it as you can see in the lower center you have on the lower right you have a negative and a positive for your solar panels and on the center left or correction right you have the positive and negative for your battery All right, now according to the directions, we're supposed to hook up our battery first. Now the battery doesn't come with the kit. So I went ahead and bought a battery separate. Show you the battery that I bought. The Renergy 12 volt, 200 amp hours. All right, so we're gonna hook the battery up first. All right, so the last thing that the kit comes with are the connectors to go from the battery to the controller. 
So we're going to hook up the negative first. And we're going to hook it to the battery negative. All right, and the battery also comes with a couple of bolts to screw in there. For this, for this particular battery, you're going to need a half inch wrench. And for these, you're going to need a Phillips screwdriver. Okay, so first thing, we're going to take off this little cover. Set it to the side. Then I'm going to grab my cable. All right, and then I'm going to go ahead and tighten it down. All right, and then I'm going to take the other end of the cable, put it in the negative side. All right, so right in there. Push it in, and then I'm going to screw that screw back down. All right, and then once you have it in there, just give it a little tug to make sure it's in there good. And now we're going to do the same thing with the positive and run it to the positive. And once we do that, that battery light up there and the one right next to it, next to the white button, should both be lit. All right, so the first thing I did was take that cap off, the little protective cap, hooked the other cable to it, and then ran it over here to the positive side. And then, as you can see, I have both green lights, which means that that is hooked up correctly. All right, so that's all there is to hooking that up. The next thing that we're going to do is hook our solar panel up. So if you remember, we had already run our negative cable over here. All right, so we're going to take that, put it in the negative for our solar panel side. Okay, so I went ahead and did that, screwed it back down, gave it a little tug to make sure it was secure. Now I'm going to grab my other cable, which this is going to be my positive. And if you remember, the one with the little red ring on it is positive. So of course this side here is female. So I'm going to plug that in. Alright, so now you can see I have them both plugged in. Now I'm going to run this one over and plug it in to the positive side of the controller. Alright, so here it is. I'm going to plug it in here. And when I do that, PV light should start flashing. Alright, and as you can see, the PV light is flashing. Um, once again, you want to give it a tug. Make sure that it's all in there tight. And that's it for hooking up your battery. Now that's all well, but it's not going to do you any good if you're not putting something out. So in our next video, we'll hook up the inverter.